And what is up everybody? Welcome back to Excel Yourself for another video. Hopefully you guys are all doing well. So today guys, we have several things to go over. First things first, we're going to be announcing the winner of the 1200 subscriber giveaway later in the video, so stay tuned for that. But the most important thing, guys, it is finally time to officially announce the trivia contest that we're gonna be holding on the channel. This is the first trivia contest. There will probably be many more, just, well, I'm gonna hope there's gonna be many more. Hopefully there will be many more after this one. We're just gonna kind of see how it goes, try it out, give it a test drive for this, uh, this first contest. And if it goes well, then we'll hopefully do a bunch more trivia contests on the channel. So my goal for the trivia contest was to do it, you know, Kahoot style on a live stream on the channel. That was my goal, sort of similar to how we did the Hot Wheels Unleashed tournament. Just uh, share my screen while I start the Kahoot, get everybody into the lobby. And if you don't know what Kahoot is, it's kind of like a trivia learning tool that a lot of times teachers will use in school. But unfortunately, um, I was trying to make a Kahoot earlier today and it turned out that you can only have like a, a maximum of 10 people in your Kahoot uh, lobby, if you will, your Kahoot group. And uh, I figure there's probably gonna be more than 10 people that are going to be in the trivia contest. I really don't know. We won't know until we uh, figure out, you know, a date for the contest. But uh, I figure it's definitely gonna be more than 10 and probably 20 would be cutting it a little bit close. I want everyone to be able to join in that wants to join in. So uh, the next level up in Kahoot was uh, to get 50 people in, which would definitely be enough. But uh, it was like 15 or $20 to get that, uh, that level of membership to make a Kahoot that could have that big of a lobby. And uh, that would really eat into the cash prize, you know, to have $15 taken off the top. So I just looked for some programs that are similar to Kahoot and I found one called Quizzes. It's uh, sort of like the free version of Kahoot, if you will, but uh, it's still pretty well known and widely recommended. It's got an app and everything on it. So that is what we're going to be doing the trivia contest on. I went through today and sort of messed around with it, made the, uh, the trivia questions for the uh, contest. There's gonna be a grand total of 60 questions that are going to be asked of you guys. And uh, they kind of vary, you know, different categories, different uh, levels of difficulty in the questions. There's a couple softball ones and then some more difficult ones. Cause you know, at the end of the day, we can only have one winner. So the questions have to be able to narrow it down. And uh, I think I did a pretty good job with some difficult questions that will throw off some people. But uh, I know there is quite a few of you guys who have an absolute wealth of knowledge. So I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, at the end, it comes down to you know, four or five people that get every single question right. So I might have to think of some tiebreakers or something like that. But fortunately with the quizzes uh, program, it uh, also gives you points, not just based on if you get the answer right, but how quickly you give the answer. So uh, even if you get all 60 questions right, or if two people get all 60 questions right, but one person answers all the questions faster, that person will then be the winner. But uh, it's a pretty cool little program. I recorded a little clip on it earlier today. We're sort of going through and showing how it's gonna work. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. All right, guys, so this is basically how this is gonna work. It is on the Quizzes site. I'm assuming that's how you say it, Quiz with an extra I, Z, Z on the end. It's basically the same thing as Kahoot, just free, so I didn't have to pay, you know, 30 bucks to, uh, to make a uh, trivia contest for you guys. But uh, this is what it's going to look like. Well, this is my end, at least. There's 61 total questions. There's only 60 questions. And then uh, the last one is sort of a poll question on improvements for the next time. But uh, if I were to start it, hypothetically, oh, there I am in the reflection, look at that, peace. But um, so it'll pop up like this. Let's see if we can get rid of the glare. You guys will type in joinmyquiz.com and then you'll enter the game code and it'll take you right to the quizzes site. Gosh, what's up with this glare? Hold on. Let's see if we can get rid of this. Come on, there we go. So then you guys will enter this game code and it will immediately bring it up. Let's see if I can uh, do it real quick. Type in joinmyquiz.com. See if we can get this thing up. Yep. So then it'll say enter a join code. So it's 276-973. So 276-973. And it will immediately pull up this screen and it'll ask you what your quiz's name is. So you'll put your username, whether it's your, you know, your YouTube name or whatever you want to go by. Um, if I want to be pork chop, I can. And then we hit start. So now we are officially in here. I'm the first person to join. So it'll wait for uh, everybody to join the quiz. Gosh, this glare is driving me crazy. Come on now. Okay, there we go. So then on my end, I will come over here, you know, I'll hit start once we get everybody in there and it'll keep like a live leaderboard of how the uh, the quiz is going. So as you can see here, first question will pop up, you know, which driver is knocked unconscious in the storm realm. So this is uh, on my end. So on you guys' end, it'll look like this, you know, and you'll get a 20 second timer, or actually I think it's 30 second timer for each question. Um, I may have knocked it down to 20 for some of the shorter questions, but some of the questions are a little long. So I kept it 30, give everybody a chance to read through it. But uh, so which driver is knocked unconscious in the storm realm? The answer would be Taro. So it'll wait till everybody answers it. Then it'll say, you know, whether you got it correct or not. And I want to say the amount of points that you get for correct answers is based on how long it takes you to answer the questions. So if you answer it really quickly, you will get a lot more points. And if you answer, you know, right at the very end, then you'll get fewer points. So speed is also important as well as accuracy on this. If you take till uh, the 30 second mark to answer every question, you're probably not going to get as many points. 
So then on my end, I'll come over here. It'll show me how many people voted for what, you know, the right answers. And it'll, uh, it'll have a leaderboard as well. So then I'll go to the next question. Three, two, one. So which driver finished second in the cavern realm? Everybody knows it was Scirocco. You guys are getting two free answers here. So this time, see, you got a bunch more points this time around for answering it so quickly. And it'll tell you, you know, what place you're in, in the group and all of that. So that's basically how it's going to work. And it'll keep a live leaderboard of uh, everybody in the uh, everybody in the quiz thing. Let me see, can I find the leaderboard? Uh, I so I think this will be a lot of fun. I really like the format of quizzes and Kahoot. They're both pretty cool, but uh, hopefully this will work. So I have not decided on a date for the tournament as of yet. It's going to be sometime next week. Um, I'm thinking either Monday, Wednesday, Friday, um, in the evening, sort of similar to the Hot Wheels Unleashed tournament. It would probably be about 10 p.m. Eastern time. That way it gives people on the West Coast time, you know, get home from work and relax a little bit. But uh, so it'd probably be about 10 to 10.30 Eastern time on either Monday, Wednesday, or Friday, or the fourth option would be sort of a Saturday tournament around like noon on Saturday. Gives people time to wake up on the West Coast because I think that is where the majority of my viewers are. But uh, so those are the four options. It'll be either Monday, Wednesday, or Friday at 10 to 10.30 p.m. or on Saturday around noon Eastern time. So I'll probably make a community poll. There's no need to reserve spots in the tournament like we did for the Unleashed tournament because in the Unleashed one, there was a maximum, I think, of 12 people that could be in a lobby. So we kind of had to limit the number of participants. But for this one, I think I can have up to 100 people in the uh, in the quizzes lobby and I, there's no way we're gonna get 100 people in there all at the same time. But hopefully we can get a good 15 to 20 people in there that will be competing for the title in the first Accelerators Trivia Contest on the channel. And uh, the cash prize for this tournament is going to be $40. So there's a $40 cash prize, the biggest prize we've done yet. I doubt I will ever do a prize of more than $40 because they start adding up after a while. But uh, that is going to be the cash prize. So a $40 cash prize to the winner. Whoever knows their Accelerators stuff the best. And as far as the breakdown of the questions goes, so I, uh, I went through and made all the questions earlier today. And uh, there are several sort of distinct categories, but uh, they're not super rigid. So like the first 15 to 20 questions are questions from the Accelerators movies, just fun little trivia there, who finished what place in which realm, sort of like you saw in the little demo. And then we have probably five questions that are based on, you know, movie features, like some of the special feature options, you know, maybe a meet the cars question, the, um, the Accelerators, what is it called? The Accelerators Challenge special feature that they had and uh, just some interesting stuff from the movies, but uh, most of you guys will probably fly through that pretty quickly. And then there's another couple questions, another handful that are, you know, questions on realms, Accelerators, chargers, you know, which realms certain hazards come from, because, you know, some of the hazards are from specific realms. Then, of course, we've got about eight to 10 questions that are based on the die cast line, you know, Gen 1, Gen 2, nothing too crazy difficult, just a little stuff that might trip people up here and there. And then, of course, we have a bunch of questions on the Accelerator trading card game, as that is one of the foundations of my channel. We have probably, I think, 10 to 12 questions on the card game, you know, which cards are where in the set, how many of certain cards are in the set, you know, how many mods are there. I'm not gonna give you guys the exact questions, but uh, definitely you wanna be at least a little bit familiar with the trading card game. And then the last, I think, nine or 10 questions in the trivia contest are going to be Accelerators Hub Trivia, you know, questions from uh, things we've done on the channel, you know, contests that we've had, you know, maybe who won contests, maybe some questions from some of my older videos, you know, the first couple of videos I posted on the channel. If, cause I know some of you guys are some OG subscribers that have been around for a long time. Some of you guys have been subscribed for, you know, how long have I been making videos? Like a year and a half, almost, maybe almost two years. I don't know, it has been a while, hasn't it? Uh, I saw the other day that we had hit like 200 uh, videos posted and uh, that's pretty incredible to have made 200 videos. It doesn't feel like that, but uh, time flies when you're having fun, I guess. So that is sort of the breakdown on the trivia contest, just sort of know those categories. And I really don't think that the questions are terribly, terribly difficult. They're designed to sort of trip up a couple of people here and there if you don't know certain specific details. But uh, I think for the most part, like if I had to give an average, I think you guys will probably get about, you know, 45 to 50 of the 60 questions right. It's not too terribly difficult, but uh, who knows? Maybe I'll be surprised. Maybe I made it harder than I realized. But uh, some of you guys have an incredible wealth of knowledge, so I would not be surprised to see people get, you know, all 60 questions right. But uh, that is why, you know, the speed at which you answer kind of matters a little bit, because even if you get them all right, if somebody gets them all right faster than you, that will kind of uh, put them in the driver's seat. So anyways, like I said, I'm gonna make a community post sort of and let you guys vote on when you want the trivia contest to be. And hopefully we will get a pretty good turnout so we can do it a couple more times. But uh, the way it's gonna work on the day of the trivia contest, I'll probably start live streaming, you know, 10 to 15 minutes before the contest starts, give people a chance to, you know, join the live stream or get re reminded by the live stream starting that uh, there is a contest. Let people join in, sort of get in the lobby. And then once we get, you know, all 15 or 20 people or whoever many are competing into the lobby on quizzes, then we will start the contest. And uh, there's a 20 to 30 second timer on all the questions. So it shouldn't take too terribly long to get through all the questions. I know 60 is a lot, but uh, with a 30 second timer at most, it'll take, you know, 
30 minutes to get through all 60. And a lot of them, it won't take you guys all 30 seconds to answer. It'll uh, it'll go pretty quick. But uh, so I think at max, it'll probably take 30 minutes, nice and easy, knock it out at the end of the night or in the middle of the day on Saturday and uh, get our winner. So anyways, that is the details for the trivia contest. Hopefully you guys are excited about that and hopefully it, uh, hopefully it works out well. But uh, now let's transition to finding out who won the 1200 subscriber giveaway. You guys absolutely knocked it out of the park as far as giving me ideas for trivia questions. Uh, down in the comments as you guys remember that was how you got entered into the giveaway was commenting a trivia question and uh, we didn't have a ton of entries in the giveaway um i haven't recorded it yet but i'm pretty sure it's going to end up being somewhere like the 60 to 70 people which uh normally we get what like 100 to 115 people entered into the giveaway so a little bit less than normal but for those of you guys who did enter the giveaway i actually did get a couple of trivia questions from you guys' comments so some of you guys will see your trivia questions in the trivia contest which i think will be pretty cool but now guys let's transition to the giveaway winner it is time to find out who is walking away with this gorgeous lego nolo figure let's find out all right guys it is time to see who is going to be the champion of the 1200 subscriber giveaway and walk away with this gorgeous teku lego nolo figure so let's go ahead and copy our link and head over to the random comment picker and see just how many people are entered into this giveaway so we're going to paste our link in here we're going to filter duplicate users i think there definitely weren't as many people as we've had in recent giveaways the magic number is 59 so you have a one in 59 shot to win this giveaway that is not bad at all we've had what like 100 plus entries recently so you have a one in 60 shot to win basically let's go ahead and see who the winner is and it is ryan brault who said oh man i don't even know where to start with a trivia question i guess i'll go with something pretty obscure and some of the game files for the world race video game kurt wilde keeps his last name but he has a different first name what is that name the answer is Lance Wild. That is something that I would probably never, ever have known. <laughs> that is a trivia question that would have wiped me out 100%. So big congrats to Ryan Brault for winning the 1200 subscriber giveaway and this gorgeous Teku Lego Nolo figure. And uh, I'm not going to lie, I think this might be our first two-time winner on the channel for giveaways. I'm like 90% sure that Ryan has won a giveaway before. So uh, if he has, then big congrats. That is the second win for Ryan. Okay, well, I went back through some of the old giveaway winners and I'm pretty sure that this is his first win. I thought it was his second win, but uh, after doing some research, I think this may be his first win on the channel. So congrats to Ryan. So big congrats to the giveaway winner. I'm going to leave my email down in the description of the video. Feel free to email me and we will work out the shipping details on getting this uh, Nola figure to you. Shout out again to Acceleron Customs for supplying this figure. And uh, also, if you want to get your collection featured on the channel, I say this a lot in the collection review videos, but I think a lot more people watch these giveaway videos. So if you want to get your collection featured on the channel for a collection review, Email is going to be down in the description. Um, shoot me an email with photos of your collection and we will get you featured on the channel. So that is going to wrap it up for today, guys. Hopefully you guys are stoked about the trivia contest and the uh, $40 cash prize because uh, I know 20 to 25 bucks isn't, you know, anything crazy, but $40 is a pretty good chunk of money. So hopefully it works out. Hopefully uh, the winner is able to get something cool with it. But anyways, that is going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to Accelerate Yourself for more Accelerate related content. Go to the community tab, vote on when you want to see the trivia contest held so I get an idea of when's the best day for us to host the contest. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.